so we're here now in Franklin Institute Museum and outside there's an aircraft here and look how pretty it is outside My husband and Mika. Hi, hi everyone. And that's the outside of the museum. Book our ticket online. And we're entering now. Third door. That, um, that is a memorial to Benjamin Franklin himself. Oh. You want pictures in front of him? Yes, and look! Oh. The ceiling is so gorgeous! The science dude. The detail of it. So in this side, that's what we're gonna see. The ramp is over here. And that Franklin. So we're here now in the Franklin Air Show. is the drag race wow so that's Mika it's pretty cool right what's this one aim your blower hit the ball of the air to blow air up the shimmer wall so you're trying it. There's a lot of balloon. This is general track. And about him. And the other side. We have a costume of a soldier of us. Yeah. 
this is it says it's original 1911 model look how pretty cool it is some notes here side oh so this is the invention of the Wright brothers this is the model This is the Wright Brothers pioneering flight led to the launch of growing business in airplane manufacturing and flight construction. Following Wilbur Wright's death in 1912, our will continued to think her with aviation technology and serve a consulting engineer in many projects. So this is one of the engine that uh, Rolls-Royce started invented so that's what it looked like here it's so amazing and this is the go in front going upstairs We're here in the art of the brick. <laughs> and for the last decade, art found it can unleash endless creativity. It can be played with, it can tell stories, it can be larger than life. I never went to art school. And growing up, we didn't have to. But my parents were creative. My sister and I. We played with everything from toy clay and crayons, and we even played with Legos. I built a Lego City's kind of house. These are made of Legos. So this way, like why? And this one is called Still Life, John and. This is Wonder Above the Sea of Fog. And this one. Look how amazing it is, Mika. It's made of Legos. Just don't touch it, okay? I said no, don't touch. Yeah, don't touch. Here, the 
So this is the Supreme Artist composition. Okay. This one is the Great Wave of Kadagawa. And this is the new harmony. So amazing. And they also have the Starry Night. So they're all made of Legos. Also have Mona Lisa. Girl with a fear of This is so part paid. This is tapestry. This one is Book of American Gothic. So this is amazing. The goddess. Goddess. So this is Venus. Amazing in it. And this is Augustus, the second one. And then the third one is David. Some also here. The head. And then they have this big one here. Vessel. This one is a double headed serpent. This one is the Tinker. This is the metamorphosis. Look how amazing it is. Leather and this one is untitled. And then in the other side, look. They name it like Sing. And even the note hanging, they are made of Legos.
enter here a dinosaur. And it's made of Legos also. So now we're here in Through the Darkness. So everything here are made of Legos. There's a yellow, green, red, and blue skull. And here, it's a man in a brick. So other one here. It's kind of creepy. There's one also there hanging. That is amazing. So it goes yellow. And then in the other side, this is awesome. There's a string hanging on that. It's like floating from a distance. So it really works out very well that my Lego sculptures are constructed and these photography. And then there's some umbrella here. Cloud. They are all made of Legos. Nature. Look, it's a gorilla. There is a bear. A tiger made of Legos, also. There's a giraffe. It's amazing. Just... There's a flamingo also there. This is the seashells. made of Legos and then sun they are all hanging look how amazing it is Habitat construction.
these pumpkin suit by the NASA. Launch and the suit. Good. And then this is the SLS model. Let's talk about that. All right, helium, right? Helium is one we're very familiar with. It is element number two on the periodic table. It is light enough to float above our air. If you inhale it, it makes your voice squeaky. But helium is something you want at your birthday party because if a helium balloon touches your birthday candles, the helium balloon will pop, but like nitrogen, we can't blow it up on stage. It won't obliterate your cake. There won't be an explosion. So it won't be perfect for this show. So instead, we want to work with the gas that is right above helium, the lighter one, element number one. Also starts with an H. Hydrogen, yes. Hydrogen gas is something that you'll only really have at your birthday party if you like explosions, because hydrogen is very flammable. Hydrogen is all over the place. It is the most abundant element in the universe, and as a gas, kind of dangerous. Yeah. Now, this stuff is dangerous, but I'm able to hold it in my hand because of this really neat trick we can do with water. Water is a very good energy absorber. Even though I say, uh, you know, don't do these things at home, it's good to know that if you ever have to sprint through fire, maybe cover yourself with water, right? If you go outside on a hot summer day and you sweat, you're feeling cool because that water is helping cool you down. Even though I have a dangerous fire in my hand, it burns very fast and my hand is covered with water. Wow. The water takes that heat before it touches. Okay, combusting. All right, I'm gonna poke it from a distance. I don't want to blow this up very close to my own head. So we're gonna be safe back here. Here we go. We need fuel, which is the hydrogen. We have oxygen in the air, that's our oxidizer. So this will be our source of heat. Let's get started. Are they gonna be loud, Dad? In three, two, one.
the balancing force. We have also the table tennis. Here in the planetarium. It's like you're watching movies. And they will show something in the ceiling. 